Hello, hello, hello. I am bringing you Transformers Animated. So, now, I thought, hey, I've been seeing Soundwave a lot in the toy aisles. I think I'll review him, because he's awesome. Um, here he is, in his, um, his car mode. Um, a lot of people have been saying that this is... Oh, I'm... I forget the name of it. But, um... I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, this, this car is, um... Oh, a scion. This is not actually a scion. Because it's a little bit longer than a scion. Um, really nice. Uh, things to point out. I think I've only seen one other person point out. Right there, he has the, uh, the bars for, like, music. Like, dong, dong, dong. I forget what they're called. And then underneath here, that's his chest plate. He also has it. Really nice. You can store something there if you want. Um, power symbol right there. Um, Decepticon logo. Really nice. I might pick up the new repaint of him. It's gray and it has a, the, the other bird that is a um, electric keypad, key, keyboard, because that's kind of from the 80s and all like the 80s. Um, I'm not sure if it's out now. Um, that was really nice. Good, good figure. Um, he comes with a guitar. I think how you're supposed to store it is you push it in like this. Anywho, um, this guitar is awesome, and we'll get on to it. Um, more of it. Now, this guitar is actually laser beam. Take it, slide it in, and then just fold out the wings, which you can pop off because they're just connected right easily. Um, here's laser beak. Laser beak is actually a pretty nice figure. The articulation, yeah, like I said, you can pop off. Oh, what the heck? I gotta make sure that this is slided forward. Can't do that. The articulation is that. But, um, looks, looks really nice. Um, so transfer it back. Just take these. Well, here, I'll do this first. If you just pull this out, see how there's a little slot right here? But this goes away. Pull this out, pull it till it kind of feels stiff. And you just slide these over his head, his wings over his head. But very nice back then. And you just take this and it clips forward. Very, very nice. Now on the sound wave. To transform the sound wave, what we need to do is take this and uh pull the sickness, which I call it his car crash man. Because it looks like he just got split down the middle. Um, go over here, pull the arms, kind of get him out of there, like that. Wow. Um, pull this up like that. He has wings. <laughs> um, anyways. So, next you, um, uh, you can take these and, uh, fold them about halfway. They're on hinges, I believe hinges. Just kind of fold them halfway. Second. Okay. And then um, just take them, fold them around. So then they wind up like this. And uh, then you just take them and make the shins. Pull the feet down. And then uh, take it. Pull the feet down. And um, then you take his waist. I'm going to tell you how to raise this up. 
Um, let me take his place and he rotate around. So he has a screen back for a butthole. Very nice touch that he would have that for that butt. Um, cough, cough. I'm gonna take these and pull them down. And then, um, take his front. And then, kinda gotta push this up. This will be really, really stubborn. It's like a double hinge joint thing. Yeah, pull it up. Um, the first time we get this figure, it will feel like that breaks. I think there could have been an easier way to make this. But, um, so you have to kind of stay here. Okay. And then, uh, make sure the arms are out. And take the arms and pull them down. And then do something I always forget with these in front, like they're, because they're just speakers. And then reach in here and pull out his head. Which is a very nice head. Got kind of cool sunglasses going on. And then you take his hand and flip it up. He's um, a gorilla. So uh, you can just kind of see from the lighting in here the little different sound enhanced things. Cassette player here. Um, these, I believe, are, like, his music things, and then these are, and very nice, he actually kind of does glow in the dark, just a little bit. Um, he has a random slight piping over, he has light piping, but doesn't do anything. Um, articulation, his head is on a ball joint, to be quite surprised, he goes up very little and rotates certain six years. I'm just going to take the six degrees up the shoulder. going to do this, do the transformation. Um, bend forward here. And then they have these nifty... Okay, I'm going to switch. Okay. They have these nifty little joints in here. Where you can turn the black thing, and then also turn the lower part of it off. Which I thought was a very nice touch. So you can get them in some really good poses with that. Because this is on a hinge. These two are separate. So I can have it like that. Which is very cool. So this is on a ball joint, so I can do almost anywhere. And uh this rotates three and six degrees due to transformation. Um the legs can go forward and back. Basically all the way and out to their own ball joints. Bend at the knee. His feet can go uh, all the way back due to transformation. And due to transformation, because you kind of have to bend him, he went over the top and his feet be able to bend like this. So you can get some of in some real cool poses. Like I'm going to feel to do right here. Yeah. Okay, so you can take his guitar, and you see the little, little knob right there. Well, he has a hole right here for a screw. And, um, let's take this. And, um, uh, you can hold it. Now, first off, I found this figure at Target. There's one there. It's back when this figure was rare to find. Kind of like uh, the garbage truck wreck art. You know, it's like everywhere. Because no one wants them. So you can hold this. I can just see him up playing Iron Man or like Welcome to the Jungle. Welcome to the Jungle! We got lots of fun! Welcome to the Jungle! Mm. Um, he is easier to find now. Like I said, um, really articulated, really nice figure, um, I'm biting my time up right now, I forget how much he costs, but he is just a really good figure, um, yeah, that's my review, I hope you like it, and...